What's up everybody? Today we're gonna run through the crayfish pattern that I have here. Um, pretty simple actually. If you have a, a stencil, um, I've made my stencil from Play-Doh. I've seen that and uh, and put that out on YouTube. I'll link that up in this corner here so you can check that out before you get into this. But we're gonna run through how to paint this bad boy real quick. So first thing, I have already primed a white coat on a 0.5, so can save you from that boring sequence. It's just this here so we can get to work. First paint, we're gonna start at the bottom. Move up, we got Wicked Laguna Blue. I use all Wicked paints for the time being because they're pretty darn good out of the brush at the same point. They're cheap. Pretty cheap. Alright. Blue coat on the bottom here. we're actually gonna cover the whole bait in this baby blue. The reason that that is going to be because we're gonna put a pattern on the top when we come over it with that darker blue. And a heat set in between each coat. And it's going to be tough to tell but uh, I've actually kept the top a little lighter than the bottom portion of the Wicked Laguna Blue. Um, that's gonna help offset the, uh, the blue, the deep violet blue here, detail violet blue, excuse me, that it will be putting on top of that top coat there. It's gonna give that pattern that I'm gonna spray here a little extra pop. So this is just some ribbon, wired ribbon that I've got it at Hobby Lobby a few months ago during Christmas time, obviously, if you can't tell by the, the coloration of it. Um, but we are gonna clip that on as we prepare to make our gradient. So you always just wanna make sure whatever stencil that you're using, if you're gonna clip it to your bait, that it is nice and tight. Not enough that you, you don't wanna scratch the paint that's already on your bait. Um, again, with rough wire or any sort of stencil that you're using, you just want to be cautious so you're not wrecking your your base coats. But this will allow us to create a cool little molting pattern on the craw on that top layer here. Once I fill our brush back up. So since we're working with the 0.5s, you know, these are small baits I get from dingerbaits.com. Shout out to those guys, they do a great job. Um, you don't need a whole lot of paint. You know, a little goes a long way for each of these. So we're gonna roll through this top portion and just come over. And 
heat set that. can take that stencil off now be gentle now that it's set you don't want to rip any of that other paint that you've already put on there off beautiful all right you're gonna see there focus in on you there we go check that out okay so that looks pretty sweet. It's already given a whole lot of character to this one. Um, so once we start to work with the crayfish pattern, we'll put this all together. All right. See here, we got Wicked Pearl Black. That'll give it a good contrast. At the same point, give it a little bit of extra shine with that pearl. Again, don't need much, just a couple drops in. Wipe your fingers so you don't get paint everywhere. Okay, so again, like I told you earlier in the video I've done, um, I've just taken your general run-of-the-mill Play-Doh. I've cut out a cool little stencil here that will simply just fit right on the top of this. You just gotta push this bad boy over. like that so you got it locked in place so again play-doh 55 cents a can can't hate easy stuff easy easy peasy save your money and also make some pretty nice baits so again with the crayfish pattern what this stencil is just going to do is it's going to create this outside edges right there just like these crustaceans have and then we're going to come back over the top and under the bottom, just with a little bit of paper to finish it off. Try to shoot this with about 20 PSI or so. Don't want to have a ton of overspray. Want to try to keep it nice and nice and clean. I like the spray from the bottom first so you can start to see that shadow and then come over the top of the stencil right here just to really darken those lines but if you stray spray from that bottom edge it's going to give it a nice shaded shadow look to it heat set that quick not a lot of paint not a lot of heat There you are, the beginnings of it all. Next part, we're just gonna take this piece of paper here. You've already seen I've sprayed a ton. Just use a little contour that I've cut and that contour is just gonna help match these lines up that here, given, given these crayfish their shell.
I can hold on to this piece of paper. My goodness. All right. So you're just going to match it up here and using the overspray. I know you can't see a lot of it, but we're going to use the overspray here. Remember to spray mostly the stencil. And then that will create that definitive line. Just like that. Come through on each marking to make it look like it matches up. Same thing on the top. There you go. You're going to see it all the way around. And the very last step that I like to do to add a little additional characteristics before you obviously you clear coat and put the eyes in, but you'll see the splatter. You know, that's a pretty simple thing to do with any airbrush. You can do it with a paintbrush and just dip it, spray it on. I just like to keep my PSI maybe at about just under 10 and it'll start to kind of spit and when it spits that's what you're going to want to see all right there she wrote throw some black eyes on there and get it ready for clear coat So I'd use KBS for all my clear coating. Works really, really well. Um, I don't have to super glue most of these eyes in. The clear coat will take care of a lot of that adhesive. So not too worried about the eyes falling out. I've banged these things on rocks pretty darn good. The last few times I've been out and they hold up really, really well. So there's the finished product before clear coat. The icy blue molten craw. All right, appreciate you guys watching. I'll link uh, everything below that I needed to use for this. Again, check out that Play-Doh video. That's gonna help you tremendously in making your own baits and stencils. Hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. See you.